Hello friends, today we are going to see DIR825 D-Link router, uh, hardware version J1, firmware version 1.03, uh, 1 uh, configured as an access point. Now in my scenario I have uh, D-Link Eagle Pro series router, model R12 as my main router and I want to connect R12 router uh, to DIR825 using a cable connection. So we are going to see how to configure DIR825 as an access point. All right. Normally uh, there are two modes uh, which uh, are used, a repeater and an access point. So you need to understand the difference between repeater and access point. So in repeater there is no cable required from primary router to the secondary device. Uh, in access point, we need a cable from main router to the secondary device. So in my scenario right now, I have R12 as my main router and DIR825 I'll be configuring as an access point. So we'll require one cable to run from R12 router to the DIR825. Okay, so let us see how we are going to do it. Uh, now basically what I have done is I have connected my laptop to the DIR825 using a LAN cable. You can connect using a LAN cable or you can connect using the Wi-Fi. Alright, by default there is a name which is given at the bottom side of the router. This will be the name. Okay, and this will be the 5G name. So, uh, you can connect any one of it. Password is written at the bottom side of the router. Alright, so once you do that, once it is connected, you will be, uh, uh, you have to open up the browser and you have to enter this IP 192.168.0.1 which is the default IP for the DIR825. So once you enter the IP address and uh, press enter, you will be able to see the wizard. So you just have to click on start. Maybe your language is English, you can click on yes and then you can use the advanced settings or the continue configuration. So basically we are doing the configuration using the wizard. Okay, so you need to click on continue. Now once you do that, it will ask you to set up the device mode. So we need to select the device mode, the connection method as wired. Since we are configuring as an access point and there will be a cable which will be connecting from the main router to the second device, secondary device. So we are using the connection method as wired and the work mode we have to select as access point. Okay. So once you select the word mo work mode and access point, you need to click on next. Now, in as I said in my scenario, I already have my primary router which is already configured and the internet is working. Now that IP, okay, the IP address of my primary router is same as DIR825 which is 192.168.0.1. So what we need to do is we need to change the IP address of the secondary device which is my DIR825 any random IP address in the range of my main router which is my primary router. So the primary router's IP address is 192.168.0.1. So I am changing my DIR825 uh, local IP to 0 0.200. Okay. Subnet mask I am keeping the same as 255.255.255.0 and gateway address I am keeping as 192.168.0.1 which is my primary router's IP address. So once you do this, you have to click on next. Now you will have the wireless settings to be configured here. So this is for the 2.4 gigahertz network. By default, there will be one name and one password given there. So what you need to do is you need just need to click on the name and change it. So I'm just keeping as uh, DR825 AP. All right, as an access point since we are configuring it. Password I'm keeping as same. Okay, so you need to click on next. So you can keep the same name or you can change it as we have done in the 2.4. I'm keeping the same one. Password I'm keeping the same one here. Okay, I'm just keep uh, saving the password here. All right, so you can click on next. So now it will ask you to enter the uh, admin password. It will ask you to set up the admin password. I'm just keeping as admin 123 and admin 123. So once you do that, you need to click on next. 
it will give you the summary you, if you click on this save configuration file one file will be downloaded in which every setting will be there so you can see the admin name is there password is there device address is there what IP address we have kept over here is 0 0.200 IP address is there subnet mask will be there gateway address host name is there Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz name what we have kept password will be there and 5 gigahertz and name and the password and the mode so we are configuring as an access point mode okay so then you can click on apply so once it is applied okay now when you are configuring a router in an access point okay the DHCP on the device will be automatically go to none so there will no be there will not be a DHCP server on the DIR825 once the settings are saved so on your LAN card you will not receive any IP address okay okay that's because once you configure DIR825 as an access point DIR825 uh, DHCP server will be automatically disabled all right now what you have to do is you have to take one LAN cable and connect any one of the LAN port of my primary router okay and the other end to the DIR825 LAN port so the connection has to be done between LAN to LAN okay so once we connect a cable between R12 which is my primary router in my scenario right now the cable is connected from the LAN number 3 of R12 to the LAN number 4 of DIR825 okay you can see on the screen the IP address is received on the Ethernet now okay so if you just check the IP address here the IP address what I have received on my LAN card is 192.168.0.154 and gateway address I have received as 0 0.1 which is my primary router. Okay. So once this is done, it is confirmed that this DIR825 is configured as an access point. So using the IP address which I have configured that's 0 0.20, I should be able to access DIR825. And if I put 192.168.0.1, I should be able to access my primary router, which is R12. Okay. Now, if you remove the cable from my LAN card of my laptop, right? And if you just see the name, the name for the DIR825. So, this is the name. This is the name for the IR, uh, 825 which we have given. If you click on it, connect it, enter the password. Yeah, and enter the password, click on next. So once it is connected, I will be able to access the internet wirelessly see all right so currently i am connected to 2.4 that's a, that's the reason i am getting link speed up to 300 mbps if i connect to 5 gigahertz the link speed will jump to more than 300 so it says internet over here that means the internet is working from the dir825 so if i try to log in So once you log in, it will check because the router is now online. So it will check if there is a firmware upgrade to be done on the router, if there is a, any other firmware update which is released for that router and it will give you a pop-up. So right now it is connected using a LAN. So 825 is your secondary device and this backend you have a main router which is R12. So now the IP address which we have given is 0 0.200, right? Name we can see, password we can see. What, what is the setup? Alright, so once this is done, that means DIR825 is configured as an access point. Okay, if you see here, we are able to connect to the network name of DIR825 AP, which we have configured, and we are online through the same. Okay, so this is the name for the Wi Fi, 
and this is the internet settings. That means I'm able to access the internet and DI-8 to 5 is configured as a access point. Okay. Thank you.